Good evening, everyone. Happy Wednesday. How are you? ¿Cómo están? Feliz miércoles. ¿Qué tal? Hi. Hi, Karen. Hi, Tatiana. How are you? Be happy, miss. <laughs> nice. Yo también estoy feliz. I'm fine. Ustedes me van a explicar a mí. <laughs> Remember, last night we were talking that you had an ass assignment, right? Recuerden que anoche teníamos una asignación. Ahora en la clase 15, oficialmente nos quedan a partir de mañana cinco clases. Jueves, viernes y de ahí de lunes a miércoles de la semana que viene. Cinco clases y terminamos módulo. Así que ustedes ya deberían manejar al derecho y al revés estos temas que vamos a ver a continuación. All right. Again, vamos a hacer una, un recap. In recap de los temas que ya vimos. We saw simple present, obviously, right? We saw it affirmative sentences. Verb three. Then we saw affirmative sentences. Verbs of action or action verbs, right? Action verbs. We saw negative sentences, negatives, verb to be, and we saw negatives, action verbs, right? We also saw yes or no questions, obviously with the verb to be, and then yes or no questions with action verbs. Okay, we already saw WH questions or preguntas de información with verb to be. The WH questions or preguntas de información with action verbs. We also spoke about possessive adjectives and we spoke about possessive pronouns, right? spoke about possessive adjectives, we spoke about possessive pronouns. Ayer vimos, um, well, the alphabet, obviously, the alphabet, the numbers. Y el último que vimos ayer fue prepositions of time. Okay, prepositions of time, in, on, at. Right, those are the ones that we have seen hasta ahorita. So, con lo que nos vamos a quedar son con esto de acá, porque este lo vimos ayer, este lo vamos a seguir trabajando ahora. All right. So, before we do anything, antes de que, hagamos, de que pasemos a la parte en que ustedes me explican los temas. <laughs> before we do that, antes de eso, we're going to do an exercise. We're going to talk about the things that we'd like about our job. Van a escribir en un párrafo, things that you like about your job, cosas que les gustan de su trabajo. ¿Cuál es el requisito para esto? Por lo menos 10 oraciones hablando de su trabajo, que sea conversacional, que estén contando que les gusta de su trabajo, que se mantenga en presente simple. Simple present, eso es imperativo. Sí o sí tiene que quedar en presente simple. Solamente van a hablar de cosas que les gustan, ¿ok? De cosas que les agradan de su trabajo. Vamos a hablar del lado bonito <laughs> of your work, ¿ok? For example, I... Personally, I love my job because it gives me it gives me time to do other things, and I only work only I only work ten hours per day in the office, and after that I have time to go to the gym and I also have time to go to the uh, to the salon if I need to go, but then at night I don't have to be working right so at night. I like that I can teach English classes and I can help people, right? So that is some, some of the things that I like for my job. Mm -hmm. Another positive thing about my job is that my boss is in the United States. <laughs> my jefe está en Estados Unidos. So that is a positive thing about my job. And I also like that they give us one hour lunch. I know that some places they don't give that much time. Right. So we're gonna talk about things that we like. Vamos a hablar de cosas que nos gustan de nuestro trabajo. The 
6 a 8 oraciones es el mínimo. Si escriben más está bien, pero 6 a 8 es el mínimo que vamos a estar aceptando. Vuelvo y repito, la idea es que suene a que están contando, que están platicando, no a que me están leyendo oraciones aisladas. All right? So I'm going to give you 10 minutes for this. Le voy a dar 10 minutos. Son las 8 y 8. Así que a partir de las 9 a las 19 empezamos. Esto es individual. Okay? Things you like about your job. Cosas que le gustan de su trabajo. Sean creativos desde cualquier cosa, el horario, lo que hacen, lo que no hacen, lo que les queda por hacer, right? todos los detalles. Hablando de cosas que le gustan de su trabajo. You have 10 minutes.
Thanks to my work, I can generate economic income for my home. Voy a pretender que no escuche Google Traductor en este momento. Ok, tenemos a Dolores. ¿Es pregunta o ya está lista? Oh. <risas> eh, sí, ya terminé. Pero exactamente quiere 10 oraciones o, o eh, es que lo he hecho así como hablado, pero no, no sé. Ah, pero eso está bien. Las oraciones las cuento yo. No, esa parte no, no la tiene que contar usted. Ustedes solo tienen que hablar de lo que es. <risas> Ok, pero tengo que usar ambos, ¿verdad? Tanto, tantos verbos de acción. Sí, verbo Ajá. que y verbo de acción. Ah, vaya, pues no, porque me falta haber botado un poquito. Ah, de acuerdo. Okay. ok. Igual tienen tres minutos, así que no worries. Gracias. Uh Okay, Tatiana, are you ready? Yes. Perfect. Let's begin then. We're going to hear you. I like my jobs because I can rest on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. My bosses are good people and my colleagues are friendly. I don't have stress at work and I have a great time. I also have discount on products and I get a lot of experience to apply for others' jobs. Very good, Tatiana. You gave me seven sentences, so that's really good. And it was very conversational. El tono y la fluidez dictan mucho como sonamos, right? So that was very good, Tatiana. Vamos a escuchar a Dolores. Ahora sí, Dolores. Okay. I love my my job because I work in my house. I am relaxed because I don't use Helen's shoes all day. I can eat with my family and I share more time with them. Also, my boss is far away. Far away. 
other benefit of my job is that I have more time for other things. For example, I can pay my tax. I go pick up my, my son at the school. And the last reason for not less important is that I wake up a little more late at morning. Correct. <laughs> we can wake up a little bit later in the morning. <laughs> so that is an advantage. Una venta. So very good job, Dolores. You gave me eight sentences. And really nice. Very complete, very conversational, and it was fluent. So good job. Vamos a escuchar a continuación a Karen de las. Things I like about my hub. I have two friends and I like to head to work and guard my friends. We have breakfast together. Then TV of my desk to a start. I like to receive the client very well. Help him with any cash, and I am attentive to me, my boss. Very good, Karen. You gave me seven sentences, and you kept it all in affirmative sentences. That's really good. You were very conversational and very fluent, Karen. Muy buen trabajo. Ahora escuchamos a Juliana Amaya, por favor. Está en mute, Juliana. Yo? Yes. In my work, I like to work because we make everything work. I am an architect and I see projects and contracts. My friend Wendy is in chains of Tini and Julio and David are assistants. We all have functions, the pins I like what we do. All right. So you gave me six sentences, Juliana. It was short, but it was very good because you sounded confident and you sounded with a good conversation tone. Muy buen tono de conversación. Y esta, también sonó con confianza, Juliana. Esa parte es importante. So very good job. Thank you. Let's see okay. who else. ¿Quiénes más no han dado su versión de qué les gusta de su trabajo? What do you like about your job? Let me hear you guys. Vamos a escuchar a Julio Paz, por favor. Tengo pocas, pero ahí vamos. Ok, okay. my job, my, my job is good. Uh, in my job, I have the possibility to help people. In the office, I have a good friends. My go, uh, my work is exhausting, but let me enjoy with my friends. I am so happy with the benefit of my work. I don't think leave my work. In the often, no, perdón, in the office, often take a lunch with my friends. Very good, Julia. You gave me seven sentences, also very conversational. Um, si se fijan, ya no están leyendo solo oraciones aisladas, ya las hacen sonar como que están contando algo, como que están platicando algo. So that's the point, right? De eso se trata. So very good job, Julia. Thank you. Let's see who else. ¿Quiénes no han dado su versión? What do you like about your job? Levanten la mano, por favor, los que no han participado y les vamos a dar espacio ahorita. Before we move on to the next, next activity. Wendy Escobar, la escuchamos. Okay. My name is Wendy Escobar. I am player and notary. Uh, what I like about my profession is uh, it I in recurring reading a lot. Also analysis what I have my own working time. I have my money people. What was the last sentence? ¿Cuál fue la última oración, Wendy? I help my, I help money people. Ayudo oh. a muchas personas. Uh, no es money, es many. Como many. many. Mm -hmm. I yes. help many people. Correct. All right, Wendy. Those, that was really short, but you used the correct sentences and it was affirmative. So that's good. Thank you. 
You're going to hear a Raúl Lazo ahora, por favor. Okay, good night. Um, I like my, my job because I can grow professional. And my opinion are taken well. I like it because it is close to my house and there are many nervous places to have lunch. I like my boss because there is an adecuado, si se dice ade, adecu adequate, adequate, sí? uh -huh. adequate and efficient work every month. I like it because I only work from Monday to Friday. Um, my boss is good, is good at his job and help the rest of use in any process. Of us. Of us uh, in any process. All right. Very good. Oh, you gave seven sentences. So that's really good. It was very conversational and you had a good tone of voice. So very good. Escuchamos ahora a Brenda, por favor. Okay, good night, teacher and classmates. Uh, I like my job because I work from Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, and then I have a little bit time in the afternoon. I can stay in home on weekends. My boss is a calm, calm and understanding person. I also like my job because I can help many people. And the best thing is that I have colleagues who are very funny. Very good, Brenda. You gave me six sentences and it was very, very conversational. It sounded like you are telling a story, right? So very good, thank you. Escuchamos a Helen Bailey. Buenas noches. Ahí. Solo tengo una pregunta. ¿Cómo uh -huh. se dice arqueos? What is that? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué es eso? Arquear, hacer arqueos en la caja. Mm, is that financial? Donation. ¿Verdad que no, sí? No, no, I'm asking you if that is something financial. Le pregunto si eso es algo de finanzas. Sí, ajá, de los cajeros, de, de los que uno, ajá. The yes, one you want to use, that's tonnages. Tonnages, ¿verdad? Ajá. Tonnages is the one you want to use. Mm -hmm. Ok, ahorita entonces. Sí, uh -huh. porque no, no, es primera vez que uso esa palabra. Ok. Tonnages, vale. I am a supervisor of integral agents. I love it because I get to interact with people. Part of my responsibility is to make tonnage. And that allows me to keep in the mean away. Another, uh, another point in my favor is that I have the opportunity to work from home. I also travel in no the western area my school is monday through friday from 8 a.m to 4 p.m and saturday from 8 a.m to 12 a.m my bosses are very nice people they made me happy with my job very good Helen. i heard seven sentences they were very, very conversational. You were very fluent and confident when you were speaking and you kept it in affirmative. So that's really good, Helen. Thank you. Escuchamos ahora a Chelsea Guardado, por favor. In my work, I like the vacation and my colleagues are the person and I like to work with them and learn more every day. Also, my boss is nice. And at this time, I like that I can be sitting and I can help others with my thoughts. All right. That was really short, Chelsea. Those were four sentences, but it was really, it was really good. You said everything in affirmative. You were, you were very fluent and you use a good tone of voice. So that's nice. Thank you. 
Solo la idea es siempre tratemos de alargar un poquito. Chelsea, la idea es que vayamos avanzando un poquito más. Genesis, please. We're going to hear Genesis Torres. Out. I work all day. I really like my job. I visit many places every day and I drive a lot. I like the work every every moment. My colleagues are nice. I like to make my own work schedule. And I have been in this area for five months and it is a challenge for me, but I have faced it uh, with possibly, possibility. In, uh -huh. gen in general, I love my job and I am grateful that I have it. Very good, Genesis. You gave me nine sentences. I like me llamas oraciones. Tiene nueve oraciones, Genesis. And it sounded very conversational with a good pace, right? So also very fluent. Thank you. All right. So basado en esa idea, sin perder esa idea, we're going to do the same. But right now we're going to talk about what we don't like, the things we don't like or the things we hate about our jobs. Las cosas que no nos gustan o las cosas que odiamos de, los, de nuestros trabajos. Right. For example, one thing that I don't like about my job is that you never know when they are going to call you. So if you are not in your desk at that moment and you miss the call, people are going to jail at you, right? <laughs> Another thing that I don't like about my job is that they don't make us a party anymore. They don't get, they don't make they don't organize uh, end of the year parties or Christmas parties anymore. So I don't like that because we used to have free food <laughs> in the parties. Now we don't have anything. <laughs> so I don't like that part. Also, I don't like that we only have two weeks of vacation in the year. In, in the perfect world, I would love to have three or four weeks in the year. <laughs> like people who work in the public system, they have a lot of vacations in the year. But people who work in the private, we don't have that many vacations, right? So those are some things that I don't like about my work. Also, I don't like that I never see my friends because we all work from home. <laughs> so those are some of the downsides. So no de los lados malos del trabajo, right? Para este no requiero que hagan tantas oraciones. Cinco o seis máximo estaría bien, es lo ideal. Hablando de cosas que no nos gustan, cosas que no nos parecen o cosas que odiamos en nuestro trabajo, right? This is individual. Esto es individual. Le voy a dar 10 minutos, pero primero le voy a pasar lista before we do that, okay? So give me one moment. Please be ready. Tenemos a Ana Ruth Orellana. Ana Ruth Orellana Peña. Brenda Lisset Fuentes. Present. Uh, I'm here. Claudia Patricia Chita. One moment. Claudia Patricia Present. Chita. Thank you. Daisy Tatiana Cruz. I'm here. Thank you. Dolores de los Ángeles Salinas. Present. Thank you. Ernesto René Blanco. Present. Thank you. Juliana Maria Amaya. Present. Thank you. Haylem Saray Valle. Present. Thank you. Jose Javier Valle. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Eduardo Orantes. Present. Thank you. Julio Aristides Paz. Present. Thank you. Karen Emperatriz Velázquez. Present. Thank you. Nilsa Alejandra Sánchez. Ramón Mauricio Díaz. Raúl Arturo Lazo. Presente. Present. Thank, Present. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, Sara Samuel Adonai. Sara Adriana Melara. Chelsea Marjorie Guardado. I'm here. Thank you. Wilber Antonio Moreno. Genesis Patricia. Present. Thank you. Y Freddy Franklin, que nunca vino. Y Santos Gonzalo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Yamile. Present. 
Thank you. And Jose David Gaitan. Okay. So that's going to be it. Les voy a dar de nuevo 10 minutos para que puedan ustedes escribir sus ideas, organizar las ideas. Y vamos a hablar de things we don't like about our jobs. Cosas que no nos gustan de nuestros trabajos, right? Using negative sentences. And then we have 10 minutes. A partir de ese momento tienen 10 minutos. Es individual. Again, uh, no tienen que ser tantas oraciones. 5 o 6 máximo estamos bien. ¿Ok? Porque es negativo. You have 10 minutes. Miss, dígame. ¿Cuál es la actividad? Me la podría repetir yeah. que acabo yeah. de. <ríe> Lo yes. siento. Sí, Gloria. Tienen que escribir qué cosas no les gustan de su trabajo. Van a hablar en negativo. Things we don't like about our job. Ah, ok. Está ah, fácil entonces. No <risa> mentira, no mentira. No me gusta Así. esto, esto, esto. No mentira. Okay. Solo me gusta cobrar. <risa> Exacto, exacto. Eso lo quiero que me den el aguinaldo. ¿Cómo? Usted, no sé si ustedes han visto un. un... Estoy con el jefe, te estoy oyendo. <risa> Dígale que no era yo, que era mi perro. Han visto un reel en Instagram que dice: Yo en la posada navideña, después de quejarme todo el año de mi trabajo, <risa> recibían el aguinaldo. <risa> ok, teacher, thank okay. you. Negative sentence. <risa>
Ok, time is up. Tenemos los 10 minutos, vamos a empezar a finalizar las oraciones y vamos a empezar a escuchar a los que ya las tengan listas. Things that you don't like about your job. Cosas que no les gustan de su trabajo. Vamos a levantar la mano a los que ya estamos listos. Si no, igual les puedo dar un par de minutos. Okay, let's begin with Genesis, please. Is there some time I don't like about my job? I have to coordinate daily visit and make medical visit route to look for new business. I see less lasers. 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 Como lasers, verdad? Está diciendo lugares. No, lasers. Equipos. Lasers. Lasers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it is not easy to sell. And then because they are very expensive. And at this time, the clinics do not buy, buy much. That is the negative and what I do not like my, my job. My very work. good. Genesis, those were seven sentences. And it was really detailed. Very good job. Thank you. You kept it in negative. Vamos a escuchar a Juliana, por favor. What I hate most about my job is that the hair ups take a year benefit and forget that we help them. Joy instability is also annoying. And finally, it is annoying that they do not pay one time. All right, very good. Thank you, Juliana. Those were all in negative and you were very fluent also. Thank you. Karen Velasquez, please. Things I don't like about my hub. I don't like that they don't have me vacation. And I don't like that the system is going. I don't like that customer arrive angry and I don't like it because they don't pay my dough. <laughs> All right, got it. Very good job. You kept everything in negative and you were very fluent also. So thank you. Good job. Brenda, la escuchamos, por favor. The things I don't like about my job are that is a political environment. They don't celebrate holidays. Uh, they don't give us extra bonuses. There's a lot of selfishness. They don't give they don't give salary increases. They are not paid. They don't value each other's capabilities. All right. Brenda, very good. You gave me six sentences and they were all in negative. Very good job, Brenda. Very fluent. Tatiana Cruz, okay. please. Let's go, Chamos. In my job as an accountant, I have to present the financial statements once a month. To finish, I have to stay longer at my job between five and seven days. And I don't get paying over time. These are days when there is more pressure at work. All right. Very valid, very valid points, Tatiana. <laughs> Negative sentences. A pesar de que las hizo en afirmativo, estaba hablando de cosas negativas, right? Las incorporó, las mezcló muy, muy bien, Tatiana. So, very good job. Let's hear Ana Ruth, por favor. I don't like working on vacation. I don't like my work uniform. Creo que se dice así. Uh -huh. I don't like going all late. Uh -huh. I don't like open the office. I like I don't like my work hours. Eso lo hizo, dice. 
All right, very good, Anna. Thank you. You kept it all in negatives. Very good job. And you were also very fluent. Thanks. Escuchamos ahora a Claudia Chita, por favor. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like about my job. Eh, pero que no me escuche mi jefe. <laughs> I don't like to be early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like be, uh, asking for documents that I don't have. Okay. I don't, I don't like uh, have a light at lunch. Mm -hmm. I don't like that my parent thinks she's important. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I don't like tall when uh, it's time to leave. Help me with this report. <laughs> All right. <laughs> very good points, Claudia. Also, you kept everything negative and you're very conversational. Thank you. Escuchamos ahora a Ramon Díaz, por favor. Okay. I don't like my job to travel far. I don't like it when I work nights for an emergency. They don't give my vacation when I do. So that's all right. Very good. Thank you. You kept it all in negative, which is what we were looking for. So very good job, Ramon. Vamos con Chelsea Guardado, por favor. Things are I don't like about my job. I don't like the traffic because I don't like to get up so early, but I don't like to be late. Also, some during the day, some customers, I don't like that shout to me, and I don't like that they don't pay the, the per permits. And okay. All right, very good job. Thank you, Chelsea. You kept it all in negative. Vamos con Julio Paz, por favor. Okay. Uh, I don't want to work on Saturday because it's family time. I don't like when my friends get fired because they need the work for help their families. I don't like work in holidays. Too is family time. I don't like to see me many people working less and earning more because many friends have a hard work and his salary is low. In my job, I don't like that there are few material resources. All right, very good points, Julio. You were speaking in negative and giving opinions. So very good job, thank you. Vamos a escuchar a Wendy Escobar, por favor. Um, teacher, yes, mini short, con poca, okay, de corto. All right. And what I don't like oh, about my home is that it doesn't always have a positive result, and the and that it demands a lot of responsibility, and and don't. Spend it with my family. No paso mucho tiempo con mi familia. Mm -hmm. I said, All right. Very good, Wendy. Those are negative sentences. It's what we're looking for. It's a very good job. Thank you. Okay. So now here's what we're going to do. Lo que vamos a hacer a continuación. We're going to create the breakout rooms. Vamos a ir a las salas. Y vamos a estar participando en grupos. Cada grupo va a explicar. <laughs> Dígame. Perdón, yo quería, pero no podía levantar la mano. Oh, Jaime. Estamos bien, le escuchamos, Jaime. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. I don't like to be under pressure in my job because when someone gets sick, I have to cover the position and there is not much stuff. And I don't like to be down to jobs at the same time as supervisor and cashier. It's very stressful. I don't like to end up too tired of my brain 
and I don't like to end up too hungry because I have been thinking a lot during the day. It's not fun to work with money and I don't like it when people treat you badly as a cashier. They even treat us as ignorant. So dealing with customers becomes very tedious, tedious even when even where no even when there are money shortages or people give counterfeit bills that job has its dis, dis, disadvantage mm -hmm. disadvantages yes <laughs> very good <laughs> it was very fluent very conversational and you kept it in negative which is what we're looking for so thank you hey vi por ahí que David Gaitán también levantó la mano Are you going to participate? Yeah, sí, yo solo tres pude este rápido porque ya me conecté tarde. Perfect, eh, escuchamos. Pero, pero uh, una de ellas es uh, uh, There is no uh, sweat uh, breed witch. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, coffee, coffee every day. Okay. Uh, lunch or is very short. Mm -hmm. uh, my payment uh, does not happen. <laughs> so <It's> not, <laughs> you can expand it. All right, David, uh -huh. very good. Okay. Thank you for participating. Okay, vamos a entrar a las salas. Van a quedar un poco más um, grandes de lo normal. Van a haber de tres a cuatro participantes por cada sala. La idea es que queden um, seis salas solamente. La primera sala va a hablar affirmative sentences, verb to be, y affirmative sentences with action verbs. Me van a dar la estructura, cómo se hace una oración con cada uno y me van a dar ejemplos ¿sí? y lo van a explicar, ¿no? Luego, la segunda sala, negative work to be and negative action verbs. ¿Ok? Lo, vuelvo y repito, sala 1, affirmative sentences, verb to be y action verbs. Sala 2 va a tener negatives, verb to be, negatives, action verbs. Los dos, ¿ok? Sala 3 va a tener yes or no questions with verb to be and with action verbs. Sala 4 va a tener WH questions, verb to be, and action verbs. Sala 5, possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Sala 6 nos va a hablar de the alphabet and the numbers. Nos van a hablar de pronunciación, van a darnos ejercicios, van a darnos ejemplos de cómo se letrea, cómo se leen los números. Tips, tips and exercises, right? Explicarlo y nos van a dar tips y nos van a ayudar con las pronunciaciones, all right? Vuelvo y repito, no me vayan a venir con que yo no entendí que solo un tema era mix. No, cada sala tiene dos temas de gramática que va a explicar. Esto ustedes ya lo vieron, esto ya lo tienen. Y for sure, yo sé que lo comprendieron. Solo van a refrescar su memoria. Y es más fácil porque lo van a explicar como ustedes lo entendieron, su versión. Right? Siempre se vuelve más fácil memorizar algo cuando lo enseñamos. Ok, so we're going to open the rooms right now. Acuérdense, para aprovechar el máximo el tiempo, nomás entramos, cámara abierta, micrófono abierta, repartimos, asignamos y nos coordinamos, ¿de acuerdo? Estamos ayudándonos entre nosotros. Si alguien queda solo en la sala, um, por favor déjeme saber y vamos a reubicarlas en los primeros tres minutos, ¿ok? Las salas están abiertas a partir de este minuto, tienen diez minutos a partir de las nueve. Ya pueden ingresar. Javier, ¿lo están esperando en la sala 5 sus compañeros? Se me cerró, teacher, perdón, me cerró. Okay. Eh, lo voy a reasignar entonces, no, no, no lo acepto todavía, permítame. Yo le voy a decir. Ahora, en la sala 5, Javier. No pude, teacher. Vale, lo voy a mover una vez más. Todavía no acepta, yo le voy a indicar. 
Ahora, ya me muestra que le está dando el pop-up para que entre. Una consulta. Yo estaba en el 1 y de repente me sacó para otro. Sí, Helen, va a estar en el 6 porque ahí solo hay dos personas y en el 1 hay cuatro. Entonces, se van a quedar tres y tres. Uh -huh. ¿Perdón? ¿Por qué me sacó a mí? Le digo, yo me acabo haciendo Ay, lo siento. Fue random, fue al azar, Helen, lo siento. Ay, ay, yo sé, está bueno. Ay, me puse La voy a reasignar porque creo que no va a poder entrar, pero permíteme. No voy a aceptar todavía, Helen, ya le digo. Bueno. Ahora, ya puedes regresar a la sala 6. Ok.
Mi, ¿será que me une a la sala 3, porfa? Ahorita. Ya puede ingresar. All right, now that we're all back, déjenme chequear, ya que estamos todos en la sesión, si ya completaron la actividad o necesitan más tiempo. Más tiempo, por favor. <laughs> right. ¿Todos, los, ¿Todos los equipos están muy igual? Sí. Sí. All right, necesito irlo de todos para poder validar por qué se da más tiempo. So, todos ocupan más tiempo, ¿verdad? Más tiempo. All right, then, son las, son las 9 y 14. Como son dos temas que va a explicar cada grupo, le voy a dar 10 minutos más hasta las 24. Ok, so the, the rooms are open, las salas están abiertas, pueden reingresar.
Wilber lo están esperando en la sala, Helen y René.
Okay, we're all back to the main session. Before we begin, antes de iniciar con la actividad, con las explicaciones, vamos a pasar la lista una vez más. So please pay attention. Ana Ruth Orellana. Present. Thank you. Brenda Lizette Fuentes. Thank you. Claudia Patricia Chita. Present. Thank you. Daisy Tatiana Cruz. I'm here. Thank you. Um, Dolores de Los Angeles Salinas. Ernesto René Blanco. Present. Thank you. Juliana María Amayo. Present. Thank you. Haylen Saraí Valle. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Eduardo Orantes. José Javier Valle López. Present. Present. Okay. Julio Aristides Present. Paz. Thank you. Karen Emperatriz Velázquez. Thank you, Julio. Karen Emperatriz Velázquez. Present. Thank you. Nilsa Alejandra. Ramón Mauricio Díaz. Raúl Arturo Lazo. Present. Thank you. Samuel Adonai Villatoro. Sara Adriana Melara. Chelsea Marjorie Guardado. I'm here. Thank you. Wilber Antonio Moreno. Present. Thank you. Genesis Patricia Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Freddy Franklin Cruces. Santos Gonzalo Hernández. Wendy Yamilet Umaña. Present. Thank you. Y José David Gaitán. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank Gonzalo you. Hernández. Present. Thank you. All right, we're going to begin now. Miss, Dígame. Excuse me. Eh, no alcancé a contestar, pero aquí estoy, Dolores Salinas. All right, thank you, Dolores. All right, we're going to begin. Room number one, lo escuchamos. Um, Pueden compartir are... pantalla si necesitan. Yeah. We are room one. We talk to team, a affirmative sentence. Uh, to be. Uh, the dramatic uh, structure is subject plus verb to be um, is R plus complement. For example, Carlos is very short. Carlos is subject is verb to be very short is complement. Uh, I continue. We're going to go to speak, sorry, about affirmative sentence action verse. And the grammatical structure is subject plus verb base for add S to verb in third person plus complement. For example, I drink coffee every day. I is subject. Drink is verb bus for <coughs> coffee every day is compliment. He take the bus to go to work. He is subject takes is verb bus for and s to verb in three person. The bus to go. To go to war is compliment. Very good, room number one. <laughs> yes, very good job. <laughs> Thank you. Well explained. Explicaron la estructura, dieron ejemplos y se coordinaron bastante bien porque no hubo espacios extraños de silencio, verdad? Como va fulanito, va fulanito. Right, so very good job. Les felicito, Sara. Muy buen trabajo en la explicación también. Thank en you. Ejemplos. All right. Thank you. We're moving forward. We're going to talk with room number two. Sala dos, tenemos a Dolores, Juliana y Wendy Escobar. Las escuchamos. Explain about negative sentence with the verb to be. The grammatical structure is Subject must verb to be, must not, must complement. For example, 
I'm not a secretary. The subject um, I, the verb am, the negative not a secretary complement. Dolores. No, lo que tenía que decir Dolores es they are not in the party. Sorry, sorry, okay. tenía apagado el micrófono. Perdón. Okay. Yes, the other example is they are not in the party. They is the subject, are is the verb to be, not it's the negative, in the party is the complement. I am not, it is not a sunny day. Okay, and the instructor of negative action verb. And a soldier must um, assistant do that, not más ver más el complement complement for example i do not play to guitar the uh, i is the subject do is the auxiliary the negative not play the verb you to guitar is the complement he does not take a stay and he does not eat fruit. Okay. <laughs> Finish me. All right. Very good job. Room number two. Very. I like that you prepared the presentation. Me agrada mucho que hayan presentado asistencia visual. So very good job. Es más fácil porque la estructura es un poco más larga. Se es más fácil si la vemos, right? With examples and everything. So very good job, room number, three, number two, buen trabajo. Room number three, a continuación escuchamos a Ana Oriana, David Gaitán y Karen Velázquez. Eh, creo que nos confundimos con el tema porque tenemos el mismo de los anterior. Eh, no, el de ustedes es diferente. Ustedes ya tienen verb to be. Yes, no questions. Ellos eran negatives. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Verbo to be, yes, no question. Example, I am an architect. I am not architect. He is my brother. He is not my brother. She is my best friend. She is not my, my best friend. Good evening, our point is yet not question. Is he in the hospital? Yes, I am hospital. Is he your brother? Yes, I am my brother. Is she is my friend? Yes, she is my friend. Creo que nos faltan compañeros, pero de alguna manera. Ah, ok, el, acá es que se se nos acaban. El otro que no. tenía que hacer era yes or no questions como verbos de acción. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, vamos a regresar al, al slide anterior, por la página anterior. Ahí está. Um, thank you. La número uno. Is he in the hospital? El sujeto es tercera persona. ¿Por qué contestan en primera? Sí, sería he. Yes. Yes. He is he. In the hospital. In the hospital. Mm, ¿Dónde va el verbo to be? ¿Antes o después del sujeto? Yes, he is. Exactly. Yes, he is in the hospital. In the hospital. Very good. 
All right. Other than that, very good job. Thank you. Nalatang na confundin mo. Mga kaya rin, they would like one last yes or no questions kung action verbs. Okay? Pero, esto mo muy bien. Lo que acaban de explicar es muy bien. De eso se trata. Que lo hagan corto, pero que lo hagan según ustedes lo entendieron. Right? Very good job. Room number three. Thank you. Vamos a escuchar entonces a la sala cuatro. Room number four. Tenemos a Julia Paz, Tatiana Cruz y Genesis Torres. Los escuchamos. Okay. <coughs> we got to talk about WH question with verb, verb to be and W question, verb action. Uh, WH word are used to make questions that require information in answer rather than yes or no. Uh, what? who, when, where, why, which, and how, how many, and how often. Uh, what use it to ask for information? Where use it to ask for a place of, of location? And how use it to ask for way, way or from or form? Perdón, excuse me. And they curve from like this. WH question plus an is R plus subject plus complement. Okay. Eh, uh, también mencionaría los, um, las otras palabras que, bueno, Perdón, perdón, comienzo no. Eh, almost we have to explain about WH question in simple present. For this sentence, uses the next structure. W, WH question plus do, does, plus subject, plus action verb, plus complement. The word we W H R. Uh, ya los mencionaba anteriormente Genesis y solo complementaría con who use it to ask about people, why use it to ask for a reason, how many use it to ask about quantity, when use it to ask for time, weeks use it to ask to ask about choice. How often you said to, uh, to ask about frequency? Eh, continúa Tatiana con los ejemplos de, de ambos estructuras. Está en mi Tatiana. Sí, perdón. Eh, WH question with per to be, for example, what is your brother like? My brother is beautiful, but angry. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Sophia. A WH question with a verb action. When do you study English? I study English of Monday of Friday. Who often do you visit your dad? I visit my dad on the weekend. Finish. Very good. Muy buen review del trabajo. Room number four. Buen trabajo. Thank you. Now we're going to hear room number five. Tenemos a Gonzalo Hernández, Javier Valle y... No, perdón, Gonzalo no. Tenemos a Javier Valle, Raúl Lazo y Chelsea Guardado. Okay, good night. Um, possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are a type of pronouns, a word that replace a noun that indicate possession, that is, they tell, use, who sometimes belong to. Um, 
which possessive pronoun should we use? To use it and possessive pronouns, we will have as a reference the personal pronouns to which the possessor corresponds. Sam. Example of possessive pronouns. Uh, my notebook is old, hers is, is new. This, uh, this phone is, is his. Possessive adjectives. We use possessive adjectives to express who owns something. And we use before the noun. Possessive adjectives are my, your, his, her, its, our, your, and they. And the examples are? Example of possessive adjectives. Uh, my house is near the stadium. Um, have you seen my my mom? Es todo. All right, very good job. Room number five. We have Javier, Raúl, and Chelsea. That was a really good job. Possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives son un poco más tricky, pero lo pudieron desarrollar bien y pusieron buenos ejemplos para los dos versiones. So very good job. And now we're going to hear room number six. Tenemos a Helen, René Sura y Wilber Moreno. Los escuchamos. Ok, quiero ver si puedo compartir algo que, que acabo de hacer. Okay. Vaya, solo les, eh, les menciono a mis compañeros que... que puse aquí las palabras y los números que íbamos a utilizar. Ok. okay. The alphabet. The, the English alphabet has 26 letters. And the vowels are A, E, E, I, O, U. Some examples of spelling words are hamburger, H, A, M B U R G E R Hamburger. Cheers. S S I R T. Cheers. Cool. A E H W O L. It's cool. T-shirt, T-E-I, T-E-A-C-H-E-R. Water, W-A-T-E-R, water. Windows, W-W-I. N D O W window. The numbers. Another ten, ten is numbers. There are three forms. When referring to time or calendar year, the theory are running two by two. For example, 2022, 90, 99. When referring to numbers to read from the highest number to the lowest. Example, 855, 720,082. And the last 
when referring to telephone numbers, you read them one by one. Example, please, Wilbert. For example, seven, nine, seven, four, zero, zero. This five, is part, okay. This is part of what we have understood about both topics. Very good, room number six. Muy bien, muy buen trabajo. You use the vocabulary for alphabet and the numbers. De los nombres, de los numbers, de los numbers, <laughs> números. Explicaron justo la parte que es importante. Cómo se leen los años, cómo se leen los años, cómo se leen las cifras numéricas y cómo se leen números de teléfono, right? Que son los tres escenarios donde usamos números, basically, right? And then for the alphabet, this, um, pronunciation was correct. Y dijeron los grupos, consonants and vowels, right? So, very good job. Thank you, everyone who participated. Qué bien desarrollaron sus temas. Los felicito a todos. Estuvo bastante, bastante bien. Lo cual me da esperanza. Que vamos bastante bien. <laughs> All right. Um, si dejamos de compartir, Helen, por Helen, por this. And then we can go from there. Okay, so give me one moment. Dame un minuto. En la parte de arriba, Elem le aparece donde está verdecito. Le aparece una parte roja, dejar de compartir. Okay. Gracias, gracias. <laughs> <laughs> Very good job. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to check. Give me one moment. Prepositions of time, one more time, just bear with me. Yesterday we were speaking about the prepositions of time, right? Las diferentes que tenemos. So right now, de las tres principales, we're gonna say it, okay? So we're gonna review them, las vamos a repasar, y luego vamos a hacer oraciones con esta vez incorporándolas, okay? So, the first one for yes, the last one. Here. Our okay, we have prepositions in, on, and at, right? We were saying yesterday, veíamos ayer que at la vamos a usar para las horas. El equivalente a decir a las en español es at. Okay, a las 8.30 at 8.30, right? O para hablar de días festivos, a suéteres, ocupamos at, at Thanksgiving, at Christmas, at Mother's Day, right? On es para los días de la semana. Sin fecha, sin mes, sin año. Solo el día de la semana, de lunes a, a domingo. From Monday to Sunday, ocupamos on. Si solo voy a mencionar el día. Y si voy a mencionar fechas completas, ocupo on. All right. Ahora bien, si voy a mencionar solo el mes, from January to December, si solo voy a mencionar el nombre del mes, ocupo in. For example, the party is in December. Okay. Para los años, si solo voy a mencionar el año, la, la muy cifra del año, mm -hmm. lo voy a decir con la preposición in. Okay. Si hablo de décadas o de siglos, igual preposición in. Y para hablar de temporadas, que son estaciones, um, summer, winter, um, what is the other, spring, and fall. Para las cuatro temporadas del año, ocupamos in, y para periodos de tiempo, por ejemplo, en diez minutos, en cinco horas. Ese es en, es el in, all right? Son los escenarios donde nosotros la utilizamos. So what you're going to do right now, lo que ustedes van a hacer ahorita, es que van a escribir tres oraciones por cada preposición. Van a escribir tres oraciones con in, tres oraciones con on y tres con at. Acá tenemos unos ejemplos. Por ejemplo, veamos, teníamos, I have a meeting at 9 a.m. The shop closes at midnight. Jane went home at lunchtime. Okay. In England, it often snows in December. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? Okay. Do you work on Mondays? Her birthday is on 20th November, okay? 
and so on and so forth. Por cada una, por at, por in, y por on, usted va a hacer tres oraciones. Okay? So I'm going to give you, tenemos diez minutos de clases exactas, así que le voy a dar cinco minutos para esta actividad y los otros cinco leemos las oraciones. Okay? We're going to begin with Ramón Díaz. Ramón, lo escuchamos. Puedo decir solamente uno de cada uno. Yes. Okay. I go to the work at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. My brother was born on September 3. Okay. Mm -hmm. My aunts are coming in the December. Perfect, Ramón. Muy bien. Están bien aplicadas las preposiciones. Thank you. Julio, lo escuchamos. Okay. Um, I like to play soccer on Sunday. My English class is at 8 p.m. We have holidays in December. Very good. Julio, those are very good sentences. Muy, bon pasta la, muy bien puestas las, 
preposiciones also. Thank you. Vamos con Ana Orellana, por favor. I go to work at 7 a.m. My friend has a birthday in January. I am beer birthday. I have my birthday. Oh, my birthday is on. Uh -huh. See, my birthday is on 3 June. Uh, June. June the third, all right, Anna, thank you. Vamos con Karen Velasquez, por favor. Carla arrived at my house on Monday. My birthday is in December. He will go to consultation on January 2. Very good, Karen. Muy bien puesta la preposition. Thank you. Vamos con Juliana, por favor. I go to sleep at uh, 20 p.m. Okay. Um, we we do not we do not work on December 24th. We we go to the beach in January. Very good, Juliana. Muy bien usada las prepositions of time. Very good job. All right, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá con eso. Mañana vamos a seguir practicando. Um, vuelvo y repito, a partir de mañana nos quedan cinco clases. Así que ya está, esta fue la clase número 15. Nos quedan cinco clases para terminar el módulo. Um, los que están pendientes de llegar al 80% de asistencia, aprovechen ahorita todavía. Eh, les quedan esas chances y participen lo más que puedan. Más allá de la asistencia, la práctica es lo que nos va a hacer que hablen, right? Así que entre más practiquemos, mejor. Aprovechen al máximo estas cinco clases que nos quedan a partir de mañana. Vamos a pasar lista por última vez. Estamos con Ana Ruth Orellana. Present. Thank you. Brenda Lizette Fuentes. Sí, I am. Thank you. Claudia Patricia Chita. Present. Thank you. Daisy Tatiana Cruz. Dolores, Angel. Angel. Thank you. Dolores de los Ángeles. Present. Thank you. Ernesto René Blanco. Present. Thank you. Juliana Amaya. Present. Thank you. Helen Saray Bay. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Eduardo Orantes. Present. Thank you. Jose Javier Bay. Present. Thank you. Um, Julio Aristides Paz. Present. Thank you. Karen Emperatriz Velázquez. Present. Thank you. Nilsa Alejandra Sánchez. Ramón Mauricio Díaz. Present. Thank you. Raúl Arturo Lazo. Present. Thank you. Raúl, usted se quedó ayer a asesoría. No se quedó Ramón, creo yo. Ah, ok. Si se puede quedar ahora, Raúl, por favor. Okay. Seguimos con Samuel Adonai Villatoro, Sara Adriana Melara, Chelsea Marjorie Guardado. Here. Thank you. Wilber Antonio Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Genesis Patricia Fuentes. Freddy Franklin Turcios. Santos Gonzalo Hernández. Present. Thank you. Wendy Yamilet Umani. Present. Thank you. Y Jose David Gaitán. Present. Thank you. Okay, that's gonna be it for tonight. Descansen, repongan baterías. Los veo el día de mañana. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, ahora sí. Uh, Jonathan, dígame. Teacher. Uh -huh. Mire, pido mil disculpas porque créanme que 
Bueno, no sé si ustedes van a venir alguna vez por Constitución, pero bajar Constitución de Santa Tecla me, se me complica porque como están construyendo el proyecto, entonces me, queda, me como casi todo el tráfico. Y a veces veo como a las nueve, nueve y media, o a veces diez, cuarto a las diez. Entonces es como quince minutos, media hora que me, medio me puedo conectar. Ok. Pero igual, quizás como solo vengo como oyente, a veces solo pido copia de las clases, de lo que anotan. Y yo uh -huh. me los repaso o voy a ver los videos que están como en YouTube subidos. Ok. Para medio. Sí, sí, esa parte está muy bien. Eh, igual la asistencia siempre le queda porque siempre la confirma. Solo sí. la parte de, de participación porque no está practicando. Y realmente si no lo practicamos es bien difícil que se nos quede algo. Entonces, solo hacerle la recomendación. Si hago las nueve y media ustedes en su casa, aunque sea esa última media hora, trate de participar. Okay. Antes no, así porque vamos, va manejando, eso se entiende, no, no hay problema. Pero ya una vez que se incorpore, trate de aprovechar al máximo. Si 10 minutos tiene de clase, participe en esos 10 minutos, Jonathan. Ok, dicho. Okay, uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Ok, Raúl, ahora sí. <ríe> ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo okay. está? Bien, ¿y usted qué tal? ¿Cómo le ha ido? Bien, bien. Le comento, estos minutos son para que usted me diga si necesita reforzar algún tema, si hay algo que no está bien explicado, necesita que lo expliquemos de nuevo, usted me dice. La verdad que todos los, los, los temas, pues los hemos explicado, bueno, los ha explicado muy bien usted, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, a veces, pues como, como por algo nos metimos en el curso de inicial, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, algunos, algunos temas son como medio complicados de entenderlos, pero creo que poco a poco y con la práctica, así como en varias ocasiones usted nos los ha dicho, ¿verdad? Eh, si si no, lo, no lo enseñamos nosotros mismos, no lo, no, lo, no lo vamos a entender, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, el ejercicio que hicimos ahora, por cierto, en, entre que, que todos explicamos los temas que hemos visto, Creo que eso sí es muy bueno que lo, que, lo, que lo hagamos porque nos ayuda a nosotros a entender un poco cada uno de los temas. Uh -huh. sí. Entonces, eh, y creo que así se nos va a ir quedando poco a poco las, 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 las lecciones, pero sí, hay, mira, la verdad que hay, unas, eh, hay unos temas que son más complicados que otros, ¿verdad? Pero sí. yo creo que con el repaso vamos a ir pues eh, progresando, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. es... tal cual usted lo ha dicho, Raúl. Um... Tal vez en algo que sí yo puedo decirle que me hace falta es, es la, la pronunciación. Ok. Y a veces sí siento que, que, que la pronunciación me, me cuesta un poquito. ¿verdad? Sin embargo, a veces me pongo a escuchar, eh, me pongo a escuchar ya últimamente, me he puesto a escuchar este, eh, videos en inglés y trato de, bueno, cantarla yo solo porque no quiero que me escuchen, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, entonces trato de pronunciarlo, busco la letra, ¿verdad? La, la, los videos los paso en, en, en inglés ¿verdad? y trato de pronunciar como lo dicen los, los cantantes, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. entonces, así poco a poco quizás voy a ir manejando la pronunciación también. Sí, ese es uno de los mejores ejercicios que puede hacer Raúl. Eh, la parte de pronunciación um, ahorita, como ustedes son formación inicial, Realmente no los quiero presionar tanto. Si se fija, a veces no les corrijo tanto. La, se los corrijo una o dos veces, pero si no lo dicen bien a la segunda, no los voy a presionar más, porque la idea no es que se frustren. A veces porque nos dicen tanto una cosa, nos frustramos y ya no queremos seguir, ¿verdad? Entonces, Exacto. la idea no es esa. La idea es que se sientan lo más cómodos posibles. Y lo otro es que la parte de pronunciación viene con la práctica. ¿no? Entre más ustedes hablen, más fácil van a ir agarrando las pronunciaciones. Ese ejercicio que hace usted, por ejemplo, de escuchar música, poner la letra y escuchar cómo ellos pronuncian esa letra, uh -huh. le sirve bastante al cerebro porque se va acostumbrando. Vos tenés que sonar así, que vos tenés que pronunciar así. Entonces, es un muy, muy buen ejercicio el que está haciendo, Raúl. Así que, realmente, si no hay más, o si no hay ningún tema como que es así con dudas, eh, se puede desconectar, no hay ningún problema. Siempre estoy ahí en WhatsApp. Si necesita asesoría con la plataforma o ayuda extra, ahí me puede escribir por WhatsApp y estamos a la orden, Raúl. ¿Ok? Perfecto, Ticho. Le, le agradezco mucho hoy. De acuerdo, un gusto. Cuídese. Lo veo mañana, Raúl. Feliz sí, noche. Gracias. Feliz noche.